Hello everyone, I am Teacher Cheryl and we were going to talk about Visualizing Percent. We are already with Week 1 for 3rd quarter. Are you ready? Okay, let's start our lesson. For our milk, we have visualizes percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models. Percent means is a spatial ratio that compares a certain number to 100. The word percent is from Latin phrase per centrum. It means per hundred or out of 100. The symbol used for percent is this. As you can see, we have 100 squares, but we only have one shaded square. So, 1 out of 100. Therefore, we have 1%. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we have 10 shaded squares out of 100. Therefore, we have 10%. Yes, very good. Now, for our third figure or illustration, we have 100 shaded squares. So, therefore, we have 100%. That's how easy to visualize our percent. Let us try visualizing percent in solving word problem. Veronica and Ron earned 100 pesos for selling face masks. They gave their mother 80 pesos and put 20 pesos in their coin bank. What percent of their earnings did they give to their mother? What percent did they have? Let us show the model. Okay, so out of 100, they gave their mother 80 pesos and they have the 20 pesos for their coin bank. There are 100 parts in all. The shaded part is 80 out of 100 parts. Write 80%. Read as 80%. The unshaded part is 20 out of 100 parts. Write 20%. Read as 20%. Percent is a ratio that compares a certain number to 100. It is a ratio whose meaning is similar to fraction with a denominator of 100. Percent means hundreds, so it can be written as decimal, and a decimal in hundreds can be expressed as a percent. A short way to change a fraction with a denominator of 100 into decimal is to write the numerator and put the decimal point two places from the right. Percent is to write the numerator together with the percent sign. Study the given examples. For number 1, we have 37%. For our ratio form, we have 37 is to 100. And for our fraction form, we have 37 hundredths. For our decimal form, we have 37 hundredths. Now, for example number 2, we have 9%. For our ratio, we have 9 is to 100. Next, for our fraction form, we have 9 hundredths. And for decimal form, we have 9 hundredths. 
For example number 3, we have 123%. For our ratio form, we have 123 is to 100. So for our fraction, we have 123 hundredths or 1 and 23 hundredths. And in decimal form, we have 1 and 23 hundredths. Number 4, we have 15%. For our ratio, we have 15 is to 100. And for our fraction, we have 15 hundredths. And for our decimal form, we have 15 hundredths. Okay. Okay, kids. Now complete the table by finding the percent ratio, fraction, or decimal form of the given numbers. We have examples 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, we have also our percent form, ratio form, fraction form, and decimal form. For number 1, our given is ratio form, which is 45 is to 100. So, we're going to look for our percent form. So, we have 45%. And for our fraction, we have... 45 hundredths and for our decimal we have 45 hundredths for number two we have 27 percent for ratio we have 27 is to 100 for our fraction we have 27 hundredths and for our decimal form we have 27 hundredths Number 3, we have 64%. 64 is to 100. 64 hundredths and 64 hundredths. Next, our given is 29 hundredths. For letter A, we have 29%. Letter B, we have 29 is to 100. And for letter C, we have 29 hundredths. For number 5, we have 8%. For our ratio, we have 8 is to 100. And for our fraction, we have 8 hundredths. And for our decimal, we have 8 hundredths. A percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. It means per hundred or out of 100. The symbol for percent is this. The symbol percent replaces the price per hundred in a ratio and the denominator 100 or hundreds in a fraction. You can visualize decimals, fractions, and percent using one hundredths grid. Okay, kids, we're done. Thank you for listening. It's me again, Teacher Sherry. God bless everyone.